In recent times, there has been cases and allegations against women suspected of corruption on a huge scale in Nigeria. Some women have in recent past been accused of mismanaging public funds and some were prosecuted, while some have been investigated. For corruption to be totally eradicated in Nigeria, women have been called out to actively get involved and play an active role in the anti-economic and financial crimes and the need for them to be mainstreamed into the process. This doesn't remove the fact that many have proven their mettle in public trust. It is not good enough to say that women are missing opportunities. We have since we have we have we have stories of corruption, frauds, and financial misappropriations by men. Why are we now bringing gender to this issue? In the world that not all women are the same. Please, don't label us because one of us has misrepresented us or one of us has mismanaged funds, you know, or, or done things that are, are, should not be heard of. But how about the men? Don't they do the same thing? But why, how come we don't make so much noise? Experts talked about the role of women in tackling corruption in Nigeria as they encouraged that all ends should be on deck irrespective of race, religion, and gender. I discovered that when a woman gets into a leadership position, because she wants to prove to the world that she can do it, she goes the extra mile to ensure that things are done normally. Anybody, when you find yourself in a position of leadership, put in your best. Do not compromise. Serve. Because leadership is about service to the people. When you serve uh, uh, what, what, how it is expected of you, it is God Almighty that will now bless your labor. Stakeholders said there was an urgent need for more women to get involved in leadership in order for the country to experience a new bright side of life. That whatever you do affects people around you. It affects your spouse, it affects your children. And our aim, your desire is to live a good legacy, a name that your children will enjoy living on even tomorrow when you are gone. So uh, as individuals, before we take up uh, leadership positions, let us work on ourselves. Let us work on our discipline level. Let us work on our contentment level. After all, what a man can do, a woman can do better. Bolachi Samson, OGTV News.